Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. It is no longer news that President Muhammadu Buhari has accepted the resignation letters of the security chiefs who had been with him for some reasonable years starting from 2015 and has appointed new persons to take over their position but there are a lot of comments coming from different quarters and the big question that we want to look at right now is that which was asked by Niawodu as he faulted uh, the selection of uh, the service chief owing to the fact that no Igbo person no Igbo military person was included in the list he faulted Buari over the non-inclusion of the Igbos and Fire She has also come up to say something very strong about the former uh, service chief relating it to ICC. We're going to be looking at that in a jiffy. But before we continue with details of the news and further analysis, if you're not subscribed to our channel, kindly hit the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. Let's look at the news in detail. The newly appointed coordinator of the Southern and Middle Belt Forum, SMBF, and immediate past President General of Ohana's Ndibo, Chief Nia Ngodu, has expressed shock and disappointment at President Muhammadu Buhari's exclusion of Ibo in the appointment of the new service chief. Ngodu insinuated that Buhari's action was an obvious expression of disdain for the Ibo people and a statement that suggests that no Ibo is fit to head any Nigerian security agency. President Buhari has on Tuesday sacked service chiefs and immediately replaced them with new ones which did not include any Igbo man or woman. The appointed new service chief include Major General Leo Arabo, Chief of Defense Staff, Major General Atahiru, Chief of Army Staff, Rear Admiral AZ Gambo, Chief of Naval Staff, and Air Vice Marshal I.O. Amo, Chief of A Staff. Modu, in an immediate and brief reaction to the announcement, said General Buhari, thanks for making us in Igbo land feel once more that we are not fit to head any of the security service. We failed to make further remarks. Oh my God, it's really touching there. Then also, in another news, Fayashi, the former governor of Ekiti State, has called on the International Criminal Court and other relevant authorities to investigate the tenor of the SAC service chiefs. Fayashi, who shared these on his Twitter, official Twitter handle, called for a probe into the human rights abuses and extrajudicial killing on their, their wash. He also accused them of only serving themselves and their pocket rendering Nigeria insecure. He said this following their resignation, which was announced on Tuesday by the President Major General Muhammadu Buhari retired. He said, and I quote, the new service chiefs should learn from the immediate predecessors and remember nothing lasts forever. This is my call to the ICC and other relevant authorities that the tenor of the SAC service chiefs should be investigated. Most importantly, human rights abuses and extrajudicial killing under their watch and command. Mm. The SAC service chiefs only serve themselves and their pocket and can at best be described as the service chief, under whom Nigeria became completely insecure. Though coming after persistent pressure from Nigerians, President Muhammadu Buhari removal of the service chiefs and their yeah, replacement is a right step in the right direction. It is yet another victory for the people of Nigeria. Meanwhile, the new service chiefs were announced today by President Muhammadu Buhari. We already know their names. And uh, the most one of them that I, I really want to look at right now is the case of non inclusions of the Igbos in the, you know, um, among the service chiefs. Man, I don't I don't know what to say at this point because this is one issue that would have been dealt with and whatever impressions they were carrying in their hearts would have been cleaned off. Yeah, it's the judicial, it's the you know 
uh, exclusive right of the president to select those who will work with him as service chief. But most of the time, it's important to look at the opinion of the people. What are the people really agitating for? Because the truth is that you are not there, you are not uh, taken into that position, or you're not elected into that position uh, by yourself, but by the people. So somehow, there's a way you can do things and quell the, their pains and their cry. This for me, it's not really. Com I'm not really comfortable with it because I just hate the way they keep crying always about the level of marginalization that they have suffered in Nigeria. It's overly uninteresting. I'm telling you the whole truth. It, it, this is not a good one because if uh, uh, someone from Ibo look at some of the key positions in Nigeria, especially among the service chief. Not even one Igbo person doesn't mean there is no Igbo person that is qualified to be in any of those positions. Chief of Naval Staff, maybe you don't really trust, uh, you needed better hands at other positions. But hey, any or apart from army, you could bring in someone from Igbo to head any position, you know, among the service in chiefs. And that to them will be a good one because they, it will kind of, you know, bring down their tempo in the way they have been re reacting thus far to the policies and the actions of this particular administration. Igbos have been feeling so terrible at the way they have been marginalized and expectation was that no matter what, whatever that will be going on in the system, they must be included. But shockingly, it has happened that uh, this time around they have been excluded. Uh, a lot of people are going to talk about this. And uh, right now, I, I feel that they are not feeling good at all. Looking at what uh, the former governor of Ekiti State had to say about the people that had served, especially Chief of Army staff, because uh, he, right in under his watch, we saw what happened uh, during the NSAS protests, especially October 20, 2020. It's a year or it's a month, uh, also an event that cannot be forgotten in a hurry. I think that was on Tuesday. They call it Black Tuesday. Nigerians seem not to forget it in a hurry, though we have heard different uh, stuffs coming up in respect to that. But look at what Fayoshi had to say. That international criminal court should come in, especially in the area of, you know, abuse of power, abuse of uh, fundamental human rights of Nigeria and extrajudicial killings and all of that. That investigation needs to kickstart immediately. Don't forget that before now, there were some, you know, corporate bodies that have called in the International Criminal Court, the written to them, especially during the NSAS period, that they need to come in to investigate. Now that they are out of their position, from all indication, International Criminal Court can now step in. We do not know what their position will be, but the truth of the matter is, if there's anyone that is going to step out to drag them, you know, take them to the international court of um, criminal courts, then we are going to see something different. I, I believe that uh, a lot of things are going to happen within this period that they have been sacked because whatever immunity that they have had is lifted off their shoulder and they will have to face the international court. However, we like to leave it there. You've heard the two points. I want to go to a comment section. Let's interact. What do you think about exclusion of the Igbos among the newly appointed service chief? And what do you have also to say about uh, uh, Fayoshe's statement that ICC needs to invite the just-relieved um, service chief? Let's interact in our comments.